Hiya, and thanks so much for taking the time to actually watch this video. Um, this video is going to be um, aimed at, if you like, improving yourself and obviously improving your circumstances. Um, so many people, obviously, you know, in this day and age, they're obviously um, struggling, if you like, to actually um, make ends meet in some cases. And obviously, this is obviously a shame. And we need to obviously know how we can try and move forward. Without stating the obvious, you've obviously got to look, you know, if you do want to improve your financial situation and your um, your overall circumstances, it goes without saying that you initially need to look at what you've got, what you've actually got around you in your home and what you can actually use in your home if you like to actually make money. Um, you know, there's so many ways of making money. And there's so many ways also of wasting money. So initially, I would say to you, if you are looking to improve your lifestyle, you know, without going into what some of these videos do, where they, where they list every single thing that you can do, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to approach it, if you like, in a general, general way. You know, you need to, you need to initially look at where your money's going. This is a mistake I know I've made, and I've made it big time. And I've been making it, if I'm honest about it, most of my life. It's very easy when good money's coming your way, and sometimes easy money is coming your way. It's very easy to, to um, if you like, take it for granted. And I know I've done this at times in my life. And, if, and it's a mistake which I think I've learned it a little bit too late, but it's never too late to, if you like, change. And this is what this video is about. So I would encourage you initially, you know, if you've got, a, you know, if you've got, um, perhaps money worries, you know, you obviously need more money. Look initially to where you can save money. What have you got in your house that you can actually do without? I mean, like, you know, you're looking at, you know, there's different bills you've got to pay, your broadband, your television, your phone, gym memberships, all these different things. Look at that initially to see whether you can obviously save money in those areas. Breakdown cover, that's another one. I had one recently, I was paying like, I said to my wife, I was paying like 30, I think I was paying 25 pound a month. It was good breakdown cover, but when I stopped, I realized I weren't going the distances I was before. I said to her, I'm gonna get rid of that. I've just got basic cover now, yeah? Look to where you can save money. This is the first thing you've got to do, yeah? And start taking, um, I watched a good video the other day where a guy was saying that when he gets paid, he takes some of his money out for his tax. You know, he puts it in a separate account because it helps him budget better, which is what I'm going to start doing. Yeah, because obviously when you get paid, if you're like me and you're self-employed, that's not all your money. I know it seems like it is, but it's not. You have £800 or £1,000 going in your, your account that week. It's not all your money. So you, you need to stop acting like it is, if you like. Um, so obviously you've got the money situation. You've got the obviously, um, you know, thinking about ways that you can save money, um, but also start thinking about ways that you can obviously get some more money. eBay, Amazon, have you got things that you can sell? Yeah, um, that's covering the money situation. One thing which I think a lot of people, and I know this has definitely been the case for me, where I have not um, perhaps gained as much as what I could have, and that's, if you like, um, surround, being around successful people, right? Because I know I know people in my own family, you know, I know people, uh, friends of friends as well, who they seem to have mixed, mixed with different people and somehow they, they, somehow they get on better. And I, and I don't know whether that's because me, I've always been really if you like close knit with my immediate family, I've never really been one for networking and going outside my family. But I do actually think in hindsight that um, um, that is a good thing to do. That isn't to say that if you know someone's got money that you have to start moving in the same circles as they do, you know, because obviously that, you know, if that's not what you want to do, that would be, uh, um, you know, obviously being insincere. But what I'm on about is, is perhaps, um, you know, if, you know, going to perhaps networking events, you know, perhaps if you, if you start looking perhaps at broadening your horizons with people, people that are perhaps moving 
higher circles, you know, people who are, if you like, are, are above you. You know, I, I, I'm not like that. I'm not snobbish or that or any way. But you've obviously got different people who have got different social standings, if you like. And it's very easy um, to, if you're mixing with people who, if you like, are, are at a lower standing for, uh, than what you are, it's very easy for them to pull you down. So whilst, obviously, um, you know, you don't want to start losing friends and, obviously... Um, you know, being the one that, if you like, thinks is above, you know, acts like you're above your station, you still, if you want to improve, have to somehow try and separate yourself a little bit and perhaps start raising the bar when it comes to your circle of influence. Because there's no doubt about it. I know people who, who have got, you know, who, who know people and, and like they're, um, because of who they know, they've, they've got on better. And I think this is, I think this, unfortunately, is, um, it's a sh it's, it's not a shame, obviously, if you're, if you are that person who is being, if you like, pulled up, but it is a shame for people who perhaps, um, um, haven't got the opportunities in life and perhaps don't know the people that they need to know to, to actually be, um, um, you know, looked after. You know, I can I can think back to my nephew. I've got a, a nephew of mine, and um, you know, he 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 always said to me, he said, oh, he, he, and, I, and and I know he appreciates me, but he always used to say, "Thanks so much, Cole." You know, I used to do removals, and I used to, you know, because he was my nephew, I always thought, you know what, I'm going to take I'm going to take him before I take anybody else, and uh, you know, he needed sometimes he needed a bit of talking to to get him going, but. He, he said to me, he said to me, you know, he more or less said, he, he, he said, if it hadn't been for you, I wouldn't have no money. Because he, he because at the end of the day, he wasn't, he didn't leave school with really any any qualifications. And he, you know, he obviously, he was generally struggling to get a job. And, yeah, you've only got to look at life and think that, you know, life is so, sometimes it's so unfair because he, he could have easily been born like, you know, born like he was, but born into a different family who's perhaps father owned, uh, I don't know, a, a business. And all of a sudden he was, he was brought, you know, he was taken into the business and he was trained and he was, and he gets on. And this is what I think so unfair sometimes when you see these young, these young kids that are leaving school and they can't get a job, you know, and obviously then they get involved in things they shouldn't get involved in. It is to me. It is an, it's, a, it's, it's a shame, but you know what I'm trying to get get at in this video is that um, I think we need to somehow you know move up, move in different circles, move move. You know, I can think back to my situation um, last year where I I actually was in a without going into it because it's personal. I was in a bit of a predicament and. Um, I actually met a guy, and uh, I hadn't seen him for years. And uh, um, he, um, he, I told him what my problem was, and he said to me, "He said I might be able to help you there, Cole." And he knew it. He basically he knew a guy who was uh, who was really good at like legal, like he was a legal solicitor or something. He said to me, "He said ring this bloke up." And the crazy thing was, I rang this geezer up. I rang this bloke up, told him what my problem was. And this bloke sent an email to this solicitor who I was having problems with. And whilst the overall problem wasn't rectified, it made my circumstances so much better. I was able to sort out my problem and come to an agreement that was that was um, okay for everybody. And this problem went away. Yeah, it went away. And I said to my wife, ain't it crazy? She said, what? I said, if I hadn't met him in the street, you know, this problem could still be now ongoing. So it is, it's definitely a case of of sometimes who you know, yeah? And, and you know, we've like even getting jobs. You know, you need to start looking at who you know, looking at your, your contacts, your um, people that live, people that are, if you like, in a higher... A higher plane because if you surround yourself with these people that are at, at a higher level, then you can only get pulled up. 
you can only be pulled up because just listening to these people talk and listening and appreciating the art of their vocabulary, right? And understanding, because when they're talking about different things, it might be that they're talking about a business and why, you know, how they're going to approach a business and, and what they're going to do and what they and what not to do. It's only by being up with these people do you learn and hopefully your situation change. So whilst, yes, you can obviously try and save money, you can obviously try and start your own business and you can obviously try and improve your life that way. It doesn't hurt being around and going to these networking events and speaking to these people who are at a higher level because it can only do you good. Yeah, it can only do you do you good. Yeah. On the downside, if you've got a mate, that's, if you go, if, if you're young and you've got a mate, and all he wants to do is you go around his house and sit and play a PlayStation all day, well, that's no good, because all that's doing is killing time. All you're doing is wasting time. Yeah, all you're all you're doing by doing that is actually causing yourself long-term pain. Yeah, instead of long-term gain. Yeah, you mustn't put off put off to uh, today, you, you mustn't put off doing it today, yeah, you know, write a list today, what can you do today that will improve your situation, who can you talk to, who can you ring to actually benefit, it might not benefit you today, but is it going to benefit you in the future, yeah, Think about it, there's so many things. It's like YouTube, I'm on YouTube now, and whilst my channel is small, I'm still thinking I'm still thinking further down the line how I'm going to build my channel. I'm still thinking what I can do. You know, my boy keeps telling me I'm wasting my time. He keeps telling me, Dad, you know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't going to happen, right? But I keep saying to him, it ain't going to happen if you keep thinking like that. You can't keep you can't keep being like that, yeah. Whether it's, whether you're building a YouTube channel, whether you're building, a, whether you're thinking about doing a business, whatever it is you're thinking of doing, you've got to do it today, yeah. yeah you could go. You could talk about relationships. There might be a, um, you know, there might be somebody that you know, like like a lady or obviously a man or whatever. You, who, who, who you really like and you obviously you know, you're thinking about asking that person out and and you keep putting it off why are you putting it off what's the worst thing that can happen yeah do it today do it today yeah because if you do it today at least you're going to get an answer you might turn around and say oh yeah when, when, when do you want to go out yeah you've got to do it today yeah because if you wait till tomorrow Guess what? Somebody else might come along and ask her out, and for the next thing you know, she's going abroad, right? So I know I've got I've got a little bit off off topic, but it's all about doing it today, right? Because if you wait till tomorrow, who knows what might happen? Don't waste time. You get one life, yeah. You get one life. You don't know how long you you don't know how long you're going to be on this planet. So what are you waiting for? Yeah. Start building you know, better associations with people, start building your circle of influence, start learning, start watching YouTube, start watching educational videos, yeah, if you want to run your own business, start learning about running a business, if you, you know, if your English ain't that great, and you want to start, and you want to be able to communicate properly, start watching videos on how to be a better communicator, yeah, because all these things will help you grow as a person, yeah, and I'm going to say it again, don't leave it till tomorrow, do it today. Thanks for watching my video, I hope it's been of help to you, and I hope if you are, if you like, in a, perhaps in a bit of a situation and you're trying to improve your life, you're only going to improve it if you start doing some of the things that, I'm, that I've been talking about. You, know, you need to start taking action, and if you do take action, you'll hopefully, or you will, you will definitely start seeing improvement in your life. And um, I hope you do. Thanks for watching my video. 
If you can, please like my video, and I'd really appreciate it if you're looking to, to if you like, improve your life, personal development, you know, be a better person, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and whatever your endeavours are, I hope you succeed. Thank you.